This is solutions to exam five for math 12820. Question number one, square root of 49 is seven, square root of x to the eighth is x to the fourth, square root of y to the 10th is y to the fifth. So we have seven x to the fourth, y to the fifth. Seven x to the fourth, y to the fifth. Sorry, I'm not sure that comes out too clearly. Number two, square root of 12, 12 is four times three, 27 is nine times three. Square root of four comes outside and becomes a two. Square root of nine comes outside and becomes a three. So I have six times two radical three, minus three times three radical three. <clears throat> six times two is 12, 12 radical three, minus three times three is nine, nine radical three. These are like radicals, so I can combine them into three radical three. Number three, multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, I see radical three plus one, so I multiplied the top and bottom by radical three minus one. So the numerator is six times radical three minus one. The denominator is a squared minus b squared. Radical three squared is three, minus one squared is one. Three minus one is two. Cancel the six with a two. So final answer is three times radical three minus one. Number four, square both sides. The square root squared is just three x plus one. X minus three squared is X squared minus six X plus nine. Uh, this is a quadratic equation, meaning there's a squared term. So leave one side having zero. So subtract three X and subtract one. So this will become a zero. So zero equals X squared minus nine X plus eight. This factors into X minus one, X minus eight. So by the zero factor property, either this is zero, X is one, or this is zero, X is eight. But if you check, one does not check. Plug in a one here and a one here. The square root of three times one plus one is not the same as one minus three, because that'll give me the square root of four is negative two, and that's not a true statement. So I throw out one. Eight works okay by plugging eight here and here. Three times eight plus one square root does equal eight minus three, because the square root of 25 is equal to five. So the only real solution is eight. Number five, five plus three i squared. Use the formula for the square of a binomial, a squared plus two ab plus b squared, if this is my a and this is my b. So my a squared, five squared is 25, plus two a b, two times five times three i is 30 i, plus b squared is nine i squared. Whenever you see i squared, change that to a negative one. So that's really 25 minus nine or 16 plus 30 i. Number six, y equals two to the x power. I make a table from negative three to three, let's say. <clears throat> I plug in zero, I get one. Plug in one, I get two. 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, negative 1, 2 to the negative 1 means 1 over 2 to the 1, or 1 half, 2 to the negative 2 means 1 over 2 squared, 1 fourth, 2 to the negative 3 means 1 over 2 cubed, 1 eighth. So I plot 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 8. These are, these y values are almost 0, so negative 1 and a half, negative 2, 1 fourth, after a while you just kind of have to cram it in toward the, the x-axis, so it looks something like that. Number seven, y equals log base three of x. Unscramble that, write it as three to the y equals x. So I'll pick appropriate values of y. I let y be negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. And then I plug in to find x. If I plug in um, zero for y, I get one. Plug in one, I get three. Plug in two, I get nine. Plug in negative one, three to the negative one is one third and plug in negative two for y, three to the negative two, that's one over three squared or one ninth. Okay, so one zero, three one nine two, one third negative one, one ninth negative two, so it looks something like that. Number eight, right, it's a single logarithm. The five climbs up to here, the half climbs up to here. So log of x to the fifth minus log y to the one half. A minus sign means you take the log of the quotient so log of x to the fifth over y to the half, y to the one half means square root of y. You should write it as a square root of y. That's considered simplified. <clears throat> okay, number nine, five to the x equals 24. Take a natural log of both sides. You could also do it with common logs, but by putting ln here, you're allowed to take that x down. So x ln five equals ln 24, divide by natural log of five. X is natural log of 24, divided by natural log of five. Punch it in your calculator. It's about 1.9746. Number 10, the log base six of x minus the log base six of three is the log base six of the quotient x over three, that equals one. Unscramble it, write it without the log. Exponent is six, uh, sorry, the base is six. Exponent is one, 
come back in for the results. So six to the one power equals X over three, multiply both sides by three. So X is equal to 18. All right, so these are solutions to exam five for math 120, 820.